of Russian invasion is the capital of Ukraine, the city of Kiev. So how do you see the, the status of the capital of Kiev? Of course, Ukrainian forces have been doing a very good job of, of keeping Russian forces out of the city. Um, but the, the Brits, uh, uh, among others, believe that Russian forces are now regrouping. So how concerned are you uh, about what the Russians now may be planning uh, in terms of the capital city, on the capital city? In the next upcoming days, we're expecting significant attack on the capital. They are regrouping, they're trying to find different strategies and trying to find the right way and the right timing. So every hour counts and then we're expecting uh, to have this attack on the capital at any moment, especially, as I said, in the next upcoming days. Uh, their target is the capital. We are standing strong and we definitely need support we're going to be taking care of ourselves. What we need, we need defensive military equipment to stand and hold away the Russian army. Vladimir, how are the Ukrainian forces holding up? They have been fighting now for two weeks uh, in, in, in and around the capital, both the Ukrainian military and the territorial defense, uh, which you are a part of. They've been doing well, but but how much longer can they hold out? The will of the people in Ukraine is strong. This is our home. This is our family. We're families in this case. We stand for each other here against the Russian aggression. And we stand together against the Russians and for the principles of freedom and our choice. That was our choice to be associated with European democratic values. And we defend this as much as we can. We have luck of equipment, as I said, military equipment, and we do anything possible. We're trying to outsmart the Russian army as much as we can. I don't know how long we're gonna hold up, but we're gonna hold up as long as we can. What's really necessary is the international support you guys need to isolate Russia and the Russian economy because all the money that Russia is getting are going to be used for the bullets and rockets that destroying our cities, infrastructure, killing. It's like genocide, killing our children and families and women. If you see these images where Russian rockets landing in the districts of the city where civilians are living, it has nothing to do with logical war or attacking some important infrastructure. They're killing civilians. This is completely... Yeah, are you concerned, are you concerned Vladimir, that as, as, the, as, the Rus as the Ukrainian forces on the ground have been having some success against uh, the Russian convoys, against the Russian troops on the ground, we have seen uh, Russia stepping up their aerial bombardment with artillery, with missiles, uh, dropping bombs from the sky. Are, are you concerned uh, about that as they, as they change their tactic in terms of both the destruction on the city, but of course uh, the civilians who are still in and around Kyiv? Of course, they're always concerned. And we just cannot rely on anything that possibly can come from Russian side. Whatever the reason for this war is, it's a complete lie. Ukraine was never a threat to Russia, ever. We never were in conflict against Russia, a military conflict or anything. And this is just complete attack on sovereignty and civilians. And we're gonna stand against this aggression, no matter what. Especially the city of Kyiv is as strong as never. The spirit, the will is as strong as ever. So we're gonna hold and stand here and we're gonna take care of ourselves, what we need. And this is important to understand to the Western world and our allies to act now. We cannot wait for weeks or months for certain decisions. It's about hours and minutes. We need support, financial, humanitarian, military equipment. We're gonna take care of ourselves, trust us.
Yeah, the, uh, the capital city very much uh, standing strong now more than two weeks uh, into this fight. But as you note, uh, we have heard those calls uh, for more support. Uh, Vladimir Klitschko, thank you very much.